Hi everyone, my name is Brianna. I'm the pastry chef here at Matucci's. Uh, we are coming out with our holiday festivity box. It's gonna have gingerbread house, sugar cookie dough for you to make beautiful sugar cookies, also chocolate chip cookie dough and hot chocolate bombs. In this video, we're gonna show you how to glue the gingerbread house together. All right, now gluing the gingerbread house together, you're gonna use the icing that comes inside of your kit. It'll be labeled gingerbread house icing. Now we're gonna take, there's six pieces in your box. You have the front and the back, the two side pieces, and then the roof. So we're gonna take the two front pieces are gonna be the first ones. We're gonna take our icing and just pipe a line along the sides. Nice thick line. This is gonna act as our cement to build our house. So we're going to take the first piece and glue in, second piece. Now the glue is a little wet as you can see so it's going to move on you. So it's always nice to have a little assistant. I'm going to take the back piece and we're going to maneuver around. So, once you get it standing, you can shuffle your pieces, however you need them, patch up any holes that you might have from the ground. Get it on the board where you would like it. If you're planning on having a little walkway in the front, you're gonna wanna push it to the back of your board so you can decorate in the front, put some trees, whatever you like. All right, so we're just patching up those nice little holes that we have. It doesn't need to be pretty, we just need to fill in the holes. I would give it a good five minutes for this all to set, especially once we put the roof on. And in that time, you can roll out the sugar dough or cut the chocolate chip cookies or enjoy the hot chocolate bombs while we just let it dry. Uh, last but not least, we're gonna add the roof. So we're gonna take our icing, also known as our gingerbread cement. And then our two bigger pieces. We're just gonna lay these across the top. You wanna hold the house. Don't push too hard down. Just let them stick to the icing. There are gonna be some gaps, but we want there to be gaps so we can make pretty icicles for our gingerbread house. So now that I've got both pieces on there, I can hold the entire house and shift him together. Make any adjustments that I need to. Now I notice we have that nice gap on top. So what I've done with that is we just add a little bit more cement. Now, if you have the gap on top, just fill it in with your icing. What I like to do on top with a little bit of extra is just give it a nice little swirl back and forth. It'll look like snow just dripping over the house. And you have plenty of icing in your bag, so don't worry about it. This will help cover up any holes as well. You have candy in your kit, so we'll also cover the rooftop for the gingerbread house. And that is how we glue the house together. Again, make sure you do this with someone. Four hands are better than two. Okay, so you will have some extra colors left over from the kit from your sugar cookie dough. The icing's the same. You can use it for the gingerbread house. In addition to the green and red, you will also have yellow, so you can really add some color to your house. The candy that's gonna be included will be candy canes, uh, gumdrop balls. We will also have uh, the gummy drops candies. We currently don't have them with us. 
Uh, we'll also give you some marshmallows to build a pretty little penguin, which will come in your recipe instructions. And you can add that to your gingerbread house. Now be creative as you want, play with it. You can put a little Christmas wreath on top. The doors, if you have extra cookies or candies laying around the house, pretzels, you can make your own little door. Uh, we're gonna be very basic in this one. The biggest thing I wanna show everybody is just to have the icicles coming from the house, give it that nice snow effect right in front. You know, we don't get much snow here in New Mexico, so we have to make our own with gingerbread houses. So we just wanna pipe a really good dot and just drag it down, release pressure, and just let the icing hang. And this will help us get some nice little icicles. So it's just gonna add to the house. And you can do layers on top of layers. So if you get that first layer done, you can go in between and add even longer ones. Oops. Just to give it that nice wintry effect. So I'm gonna do that on the other side. And again, it may look like in your kit that you don't have a lot of icing but a little goes a long way. So you'll have plenty to play and make all sorts of beautiful objects on your house. Now the roof, everybody does this a little different. You can do the lattice with the straight lines, making X's, um, you can do little doodles. I personally like the little waves. I just continually make a U, pretending as if I'm writing in cursive. And then it's fairly simple. Yeah. And then you can add more icicles around the bottom and add that as a whole border around the house. Oops. Sometimes you gotta help the little icicles out. If you've got extra sprinkles lying around from over the year, birthday parties, now's the perfect time to pull those out and add them to your gingerbread house. Okay, so that's just gonna give that nice, beautiful look. You can do the icicles all around the border of the roof. Now to do the windows, most professionals when doing gingerbread houses will actually do the doors and the windows as the pieces are flat and then glue the house together. But that's no fun to do with family. You know, we all like a challenge. So when we do the windows, you wanna be a little bit of eye level. And we're just gonna make a nice little square. Just give it a little X in the middle. You can add the candies, but you're gonna to wanna to hold them for about 20 seconds so they don't just fall off. Cause remember that icing is wet and you gotta let it dry. You can add more icicles. You can give it swirls all the way around. Again, as creative as you want. Now in this gingerbread house, the door is cut open your piece will not have the door cut open because we want you to be creative as possible. Okay, now we're just gonna pipe a very simple door. We start at the bottom. Go across the top and down. My gingerbread men are a little bit taller, a little bit wider, so that's why I make my door a little bit bigger. You can be creative and do some lines across so people actually know it's a door. Or you can leave it blank. Again, the creativity is all up to you. Okay. We have candy canes, so those are always fun to stick right next to the door. Ooh. 
Let me just push those right in. Um, now with the green and the red, now if you have some extra green icing, you can do a pretty little wreath around the door top. So, not everybody's gonna have piping tips, so just cut it nice and small. And we're just gonna do a swirl motion all the way around in a circle. If you have red left over, perfect for the little berries. And we can just dot those on. And just any little random spots. And just pipe those in. And there we have our Christmas wreath. Again, you can add more icing to the top. We could glue in the pretty little gumballs. We can put the candy anywhere we like. Can add the blue. and gingerbread house. And be sure to read your recipe cards. There'll be directions for our little candy penguins that'll be included in the kits. Hope you all enjoy. All right, and here's one of our completed houses. 